Mother's Day is just a few days away. For those of you who may have forgotten, it is this coming Sunday, May 10th. But not to worry, today we are joined by mother-daughter duo, Shelly and Hannah Calcagno, who are going to show us some fun and creative ways to celebrate our mothers on their special day. Thank you guys for joining us today. Hi. Hannah, you <laughs> must have gotten the creativity gene because I know that you helped your mom with some of this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, Shelly, walk us through what you have here. Okay. Well, I love Mother's Day. I love just celebrating. I have a wonderful mother mm. that I love so much, and so it's just a great day to celebrate. So I thought we'd do some creative things. Um, the first thing that we started with over here are some monogram letters. And I don't know if anyone's noticed, but they're really popular right now. Like any yeah. store you go into, the monogram letters are really in right now. Definitely. Um, so I thought I would make them a little springy. So we added some flowers to them just to kind of make them, you know. I love this. Pop. And they're fake flowers, right? Yeah, these so are fake flowers. For those of you who have a hard time keeping <laughs> things alive like I do, they're yes. fake flowers, yes. so no watering needed. <laughs> yeah, if you wanted to do them just for one day, you could definitely just use some real flowers. But I just got some from the dollar store that were nice. And you can kind right. of hang them up on your wall, right? Yeah, or put them on a shelf. Or yeah, Hannah's got lots of H's in her room. So <laughs> in our house, we have letters all over our house. We I like letters. I love that idea. <laughs> yeah. Cool. So, so what are these? And so these are chalkboard picture frames. Mm. And again, really easy to do. I just got the frames from the dollar store and I spray painted them with chalkboard paint. And what's neat about it is then the kids can write a message in chalk on it for their mom. So um, I put a Bible verse on this one, Proverbs 31, which talks about how children will rise up and call their, their mom blessed. So mm. I love that verse. Um, so you can really personalize them and just put some uh, favorite pictures in right. there. I'm also, and, yeah. I'm, Hannah, these chalkboard picture frames, or chalkboard anything is really kind of in these days, right? Mm -hmm. And you can, they're, they're reusable. Yes. So you can write love on it or friendship or yeah. um, whatever you want, right? Yeah. yeah. Do I like chalkboard things? Yeah. Yes. I'm a little obsessed with chalkboard. <laughs> you chalk have those boards. all over your house <laughs> yeah, too? <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> yes. Uh, so the next one we did, and this was another one that was really these fun. These are the coolest. These are the things I've been most excited yes. about. So these are photo coasters, and so everyone has pictures around their house, maybe that are just sitting there. And so I thought this was a good way to make use of pictures, and so and they're really inexpensive. I went to the hardware store, which is not my normal place to go, <laughs> but I went there and I found these little tiles. I think they were like 35 cents each, and then I just cut the pictures out and used Mod, Mod Podge. Is that how you say it? Okay, <laughs> Mod Podge, and we Mod Podged them on just with a little brush, and you just let them dry, and then yeah. So, so we, Hannah, did you help your mom make these? Oh, uh, yeah. That's so, so neat. I love these. My sister made these for Christmas, and I had never seen them before. And now, every time I give someone a gift, I'm, this is exactly what I'm yeah. going to do. Well, it's cute because I found these little easels, so you can put mm -hmm. them on an easel, or you can just use them as a coaster with, like, a mug. So, yeah, it was awesome. fun. They are fun to make. So fun. <laughs> yes. And, Hannah, I know these are your specialty. You are yeah. up all night baking, right? Yep. <laughs> so tell us what these are. They're cupcakes in flower pot so they're like flowers and you just put like a cupcake liner at the bottom and then bake them in there and then you just eat them out of there yeah that's so fun yes. that's really neat and Hannah well when Hannah was a bit younger she had her own little cupcake business at home <laughs> did you really <laughs> it's called cuties cupcakes I so love she that. got really into <laughs> cake decorating and everything so yeah so she likes to decorate so that's her gift in our family is cupcake decorating. See, you are creative. It does run in the family. Yeah, because I can't ice cupcakes. And you have a brother, can. too, Noah. So does Noah, do you guys do this for Mother's Day? Do you make your presents, or do you ever buy your presents? Well, we usually buy them, but we'll probably make breakfast for her. Ooh, oh, yay. Something to look <laughs> forward to. They just gave it away. Yes. <laughs> but I think, Shelly, one of the greatest things about all of this is that you know, dads can do this with mm -hmm. their kids too. So it's all about bonding time, yes. right? Yeah, and, and for sure. And also, um, these are good gifts for grandma too, because I mean, you know, on Mother's Day, you know, your we celebrate, I celebrate with my daughter, but I also celebrate with my mom too. So mm -hmm. these are great ideas to make for grandparents, for grandma too, so. Definitely, yeah, and if you're fun. a dad out there, you can send your wife off to the <laughs> spa or something. Yes. That's a gift in and of itself, and then just spend this time with your kids. Yes, um, and but clean up the mess after. Absolutely, <laughs> that's, that's, big... that's the best tip right <laughs> yes. there. <laughs> There's yeah. nothing worse than coming home to a yeah, dirty kitchen, exactly. right? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's really neat. Um, and I think we need to talk about the value of moms mm -hmm. in the family because it's so important. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, and I just think, I love looking through the Bible. I was um, thinking of just moms in the Bible, you know, look at Moses and, you know, how his mom loved him so much. She was willing, you know, to give him, 
to give him up so that he would be safe and have a good life. And mm -hmm. Ruth and Naomi, who, you know, they weren't even, that was her mother-in-law. Ruth and Naomi was Ruth's mother-in-law. And I just love the relationship that they have. So I think we look through scripture, you know, Elizabeth and Mary in the New Testament, just so many great examples of um, mothers pouring into their children. Yeah, so it's something to be celebrated for you sure. Know, it talks about a father being the spiritual leader of a family, but the mom has such an impact on the mm -hmm. way um, her kids see her living her life. And I think that that is a true testament um, to the importance of mothers. Yeah, for sure. That's what well, I, I know. I mean, as a mom, I make lots of mistakes. and I'm not perfect, but I just, you know, I just want to invest as much as I can into my kids and be the best mom I can be and, you know, just lead them as well as I can. Hannah, so, how's she yeah. doing? Good. <laughs> did a good job. Aw, <laughs> we got the stamp of approval. <laughs> well, this is all really great. Shelly and Hannah, thank you so thanks. much for joining us. And um, all of this will be on Crossroads 360. Mm -hmm. So you can check it out and you can do some fun crafts for your mom this Mother's Day this coming Sunday. So don't forget.